over one, you tune into a handful of blessings. I'm Kim 1114. So, as you see in the title of the video, I got tagged. <laughs> so, and I got tagged from one of my lovely subscribers, such a sweet person. And her name is Sandy Locks, New York. So, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my cell phone so I can read the questions that I was asked. So, the first question is. When it comes to colors, are you conservative or hot mama? And the answer is definitely I am a hot mama. I am not conservative at all when it comes down to nail colors. Um, you all know I love my rhinestones and I love my glitter. Anything blingy, I love it on my nails. So I'm definitely, definitely not conservative. Of question number two. Are you a drugstore junkie or high-end diva? Definitely, I would say a drugstore junkie because I love changing my nail polish too much to pay a whole lot of money for it. Now, I will go and splurge if it's a specific color that I sing that I really, really love. Then I'll go and I'll spend whatever it costs to get that color of nail polish. But for the majority of my nail polish, you can see behind me, it's mostly clean colors. And clean colors is not an expensive nail polish. It's very, very uh, affordable. So, definitely a drugstore junkie. Uh, question number three says, one second. What's your all-time favorite polish to date? What's your all-time favorite polish to date? Um, hmm. I really don't really have an answer for that question. Um, if I had to go by colors, um, I would probably say that my favorite nail polish is probably the gold nail polish that I use all the time on my nails by orally called glitz and glamour so i would have to say probably the gold nail polish by orally glitz and glamour definitely my favorite uh question number four says what's the most you ever paid for a polish and the least uh the most i've ever paid for a nail polish um i think if i'm correct is probably the orally nail polish the gold glitz and glamour and i think it was about between six to eight dollars i think was the amount for it and I purchased it because I saw it um, I was in a store one day in Walmart and this lady had this gold nail polish on and it was extremely gold and I asked her um, what was the name of it and what brand it was and she told me Orly Glitz and Glamour so I went and purchased the nail polish because I love this gold nail polish so um, I had to go get it and the least I've ever paid for nail polish believe it or not was one cent yes <laughs> one cent um but i was in this store that was actually they was going out of business and they had like some um i think it was wet and wild nail polish if i'm not mistaken and some of it was the the little small uh nail polishes that they carry at walmart called bun bun i believe i think i have some um i don't have it it's some down here somewhere. It's a little tiny, tiny, tiny ball. And it's called Bun Bun, I believe. And I think they had it on sale. It was like one cent. So I just racked up in all the colors that they had. Um, that was different. So one penny was the cheapest I paid. And I think they didn't even charge any tax or anything like that on it. So that was great. Uh, question number five. Would you consider yourself a pro painter or amateur? Um, honestly, I would definitely say <laughs> I'm an amateur, but I know some of you might consider me as a pro painter, but I'm not. If you watch my uh, nail design tutorials, you will see I have nail polish all everywhere when I paint my nails, especially when I'm in a rush. Uh, most of the times I end up cleaning my nails off after I've actually uh, painted them. Sometimes you might see me, I was too lazy to actually do that. To uh, actually clean them up after I did them. I just took the pictures and called it a day. Um, but I'm definitely not a pro painter. I I see some ladies do it and their nail polish is so neat. And it seems like they don't have any nail polish to clean up afterwards. But me? Mm -mm. 
I have it everywhere. Uh, I forgot what question. Okay, number six. What is your biggest pet peeve? Um, I would say a broken nail when it breaks. I hate to see like when my nails are all long and then I break one all the way off and I don't know they aren't even I like for my nails to all be the same length at the same time so I don't like to have one nail just extremely short and then the rest of them are super long most of the times I get frustrated and I just either if I don't feel like repairing the nail that broke I'll just cut all of my nails down short um, I cut them all off even and let them grow back out just like I'm doing now. I just, I don't know. I don't like uneven nails. I have to have my nails even. Um, question number seven. What's more important, top coat or base coat? Hmm. I kind of think, honestly, that both of them are equally, is equally important, but if I had to go without using one, I probably would go without using the top coat. So I would say probably the base coat is the most important because it's the first thing that you apply on your nails. Plus you're repairing your nails for the nail polish and, and it makes your nail polish last longer. And also if you're using like um, the nutrients, um, like neutral nail or anything like that for nail hardness or nail strength it's best to have that in your base coat rather than your top coat since your base coat is the first thing that you put on so I definitely would say base coat if I had to go with one I would say base coat okay question number eight says nail art love it or leave it definitely love it I would never leave nail art <laughs> If it went out of style, I probably would be the only one walking around still doing my nails with nail art on it. So definitely love it. I love nail art. Question number nine. If you could could design a nail polish, what would you name it and what would it look like? Hmm. If I could design a nail polish, I probably would call it um, Bling It On. And what would it look like? I would want it to look like pretty much like diamonds. Like I would like put one coat on my nails and I want it to have all the bling and the iridescence of glitter and diamonds on my nails at one time. Um, really, really shiny, really, really blinging. I think that would be so pretty. And the final question says, share your best tip for the perfect manicure. Uh, the perfect manicure, I would say, if I was going with like a French manicure, uh, the perfect manicure, I would probably say <laughs> that I would have to use tape. So I would recommend, especially if you're not good at drawing like the lines or whatever or keeping the lines straight, I would definitely say use the tape if you have to use it uh, for the perfect manicure. To get that perfect smile line, I love having the French manicure when your nails are long or short. Um, with a perfect smile line. The line of it is very, very important when you do uh, a French manicure. Uh, so I would definitely say that. Um, and like Sandy Locks, New York, I, I, I'm pretty much the same thing that she says. No dry skin, no peeling cuticles, no nail chipping or anything like that uh, for the perfect manicure. So. Uh, that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, and even nails also. Perfect manicure for me, I would definitely, definitely uh, would say having your nails shaped the same. Uh, I hate when my nails are shaped differently because my nails grow weird anyway for some reason. My pinky, middle finger, and my ring finger, the nails are always grow kind of square like I read it so I don't have much shaping to do to them but my pointer finger and my thumb for some reason they try to grow round I don't know it's weird but I have to constantly constantly shape my especially my pointer fingers my pointer fingers I always have to shape square uh, to match my other nails and I don't know if you notice in some of my old videos it's really difficult sometimes to get my nails uh, shaped the way I want them. So I, I'm constantly, constantly having to shape my uh, pointer fingers but because the longer they get, the round, they try to round off for some reason when they get longer. 
So that is definitely, definitely, definitely one of my uh, tips, I would say. Even nails, get rid of the dry skin, moisturize, cuticle oil, all of that. I would say use it all to make the perfect manicure. So yeah, so that is basically it. Um, so I have three people that I am tagging. Person number one is lovely Pamela. You're it, girl. How you doing? You're it. <laughs> And the next person that I would like to tag is my girl, Tika Tenacious. You are tagged. And the last person I want to tag is my good friend Anna from Japan Nails and More. You are tagged. So all three of you are tagged. So that is basically it for this video. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you later YouTube. Till then, take care.